It's Cam Dork. Hello, everyone. This is Cam Dork, and welcome to episode 21 of season 2 of my Buildcraft, where we play Minecraft with the mods Buildcraft, Thermal Expansion, and Forestry installed. So guys, you may be wondering, what am I doing in the middle of nowhere? I'm usually never, usually never, I'm almost never here. I'm almost always in my base. So what's going on? Well, we are looking for bees. Bees, bees, bees. That's why I have a scoop in my hand, and that's why I'm going to show you my inventory. Bo bo bees. Um, we got bees, but we use princesses when we breed, and basically you, you lose those princesses. So over time, a meadow's princess, you can turn it into any sort of species of bee, but you no longer have a, have a meadow's princess, so you kind of always have to have an influx of uh, princesses in your bee system. Drones you get extra, but princesses you only get one per hive. And uh, from what I hear, actually, you sometimes some species you actually don't get any princesses. That's just horrible. I don't even know, if, uh, or at least the chance of not. That's just awful. But uh, so anyway, we're looking for princesses and for special bees like these valiant drones. They kind of sometimes randomly drop from uh, hives. Uh, you can get either Valiant Drones, there's a few other ones, uh, I got some Steadfast Drone, or I got a Steadfast Drone. So hopefully I can get a Valiant Princess, and I think if you made them both together you get special good things. And good thing is, also, the sun is going down, it makes it easier to see hives when uh, it's dark. But uh, anyway, since uh, last episode, it's been a little while, and that's probably, well, not probably, but that's actually because I recently upgraded my PC. I got a solid state drive, and now it's running really nice. Uh, it was before, but it's still running nice. It's a nice performance boost to my, my machine here. And um, also, the uh, cool thing is uh, that, uh, well, I guess also what that means for you guys is that the settings for sound and video might be a little different because I had to do a clean install, so um, hopefully nothing, nothing crazy changed. But, uh, oh, yep, see, and this is actually why it's good to wait for nighttime, because you see how this is a lot brighter than the surroundings? You'll see when it's even later. I'm actually not going to collect that until a little bit. Um, but yeah, you'll, you'll see, it actually puts out some light, but you see how it's very bright compared to everything else? It's a lot easier to see hives at night. And unfortunately, we just got some normal forest bees, but that's okay, because we need those too. All right, so, but uh, that's not what we're going to be doing today, is just collecting bees. That would be a pretty boring episode, I think, and I would want to do more than that anyway. I'm um, going to continue to look a little more, but uh, we're going to be messing with these guys, these honeycombs. Um, we have a way of processing honeycombs right now, uh, but I want to move that and change that to be a lot more efficient and a little more automated and have a little bit more options for us. So... Let me go ahead and do some more bee hunting, and I'll be back, and we'll uh, be back at the base and do a little a little work on the honey car honeycomb processing. So see you in a bit. Okay, guys, we are back up here with the bees. Uh, my new favorite place to be in the base. Gotta say, it's really cool. Um, trying to grow some sequoia trees. Uh, in addition, I need nine of these guys to plant. So just like the common walnut, I needed uh, four to make a, a full tree. Uh, with the sequoia, you actually need nine because it's a three by three tree and it's super tall. So I want to see what it looks like. I can't wait. I'll probably put it like right. Uh, you know, what? I might put it like right there on top of that hill where that hill cherry is. I think that's what we're going to probably do. Um, at least after we grow one, get some more saplings and then, you know, and, and then we're good. Uh, there might be saplings right now. Oh, there's one up there that we can grab. There's maybe one in this tree. Eh, yeah, there's at least one up there. Uh, but we'll get that later. Uh, for now, I just want to get started on these bees, but first let me show you what I found. Um, in addition to that drone, I found a princess. So we're making a valiant queen. They actually make cocoa combs, which give you cocoa beans, and sugar. So I made a bunch of uh, drones, they're so they're, they're nice and purebred. And this was actually um, a result of, this Valiant Queen was a result of mating it with the Steadfast drone. So hopefully we'll get some heroic bees. That would be cool. Uh, Majestic Queen, I'm trying to get more of them. Some cultivated guys, some diligent guys, unweary. We're kind of building our way through the uh, the ranks here in terms of bee breeding, so we're really getting it going. 
Um, speaking of bee breeding, last episode, just really quickly, before we do much. Uh, last episode, we put in this bee breeding, and it's it's working okay. We put some princesses in here. Uh, as you can see, we actually generated... Oh, hmm, interesting. We generated a cultivated. how that work? Didn't know that could... Oh, oh that's right. So I actually set this to... Um, I forgot to tell you guys. I realized that, as you can see, we're actually generating cultivated and common drones, uh, purebreds. So, and that's 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 expected, totally expected. Um, so I just wanted to sort of mess with it. And oh, good, this is this is good to. Oh, actually, no, it's not good to know. Uh, these insertion pipes, by the way, they appear to only be able to insert to the bottom half of these chests. I don't know if that's a bug or something that needs to be worked out. These I placed there manually. Um, so that might be something to fix, but we're actually going to probably work on this, at, if not this episode, maybe next episode. But what I did is basically set to say, okay, if we happen to have a purebred cultivated made by this, which can definitely happen because we have some cultivated in here, then uh, set that, send that over here as well. And as you can see, we actually have a cultivated princess and a cultivated drone. But the same principle applies. We just spit a princess back into it, and there you go. And I have a good idea on how to set this up to be fully automated for just going full a um, for cultivated purebreds. We'll do that next episode, though. Uh, at least probably next episode. If not next episode, very soon. But anyways, um, this episode, as you can see in front of me, I have some dirt and stuff set up. And that's pretty much because uh, this is kind of where I was messing with how to set up this um, this honeycomb processing. So we need to put chests down. Um, I got a bunch right here. So we're going to need a chest for storing the... Hmm, we're going to need it in total six um, double-wide chests. And I think this is what I wanted. Uh, yeah. No, actually, I want to move these over. There you go. Oh, good. I actually have perfectly uh, a perfect amount of chests. Didn't realize that. So one is going to be for honeycombs. These top two are going to be for wax that we generate. I'm going to have a centrifuge and maybe a squeezer in the middle if I can. I'm going to have honey drops go into one, propolis go into another, and uh, just items in general that you get from bees go into a th uh, the third one over here. So these are going to be kind of like products that we can use. These are things for further processing. So um, in this episode, we probably won't get to it, but the two, the top two that are going to be for wax, I actually want to set up a whole sort of wax processing regime and a way to handle those in terms of compacting them in, in crates. Uh, that'll be later. Um, the honeycombs will just process right away, or we'll have the option to not. Honey drops will either process into honey liquid, probably going over here somewhere, and I think I have some tanks set up. Um, yeah, I guess the idea would be to go stick my liquid honey tank right here. That sounds like a good idea. Um, at least for now. And then the propolis is just for propolis, and items are just for items, so that's kind of the idea. Uh, let's grab the centrifuge up here, though, and let's actually shut this off in the meantime. All right, we can actually get rid... The nice thing about this is going to be we can get rid of... So we're basically just moving this whole system down here. Uh, we can basically... Whoa, little lag. Little lag. And I think I want to put the squeezer here, too. Um, I think, for now. We might end up putting it over here just because it makes more sense to have it near here. But we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. I'm going to see if I can get that to work. Um, but yeah, basically this is going to be out of commission for a while. But we're moving this whole setup that I have here down there. And we're going to make it a little more automated. Um, oh, damn, oh, no, I, I got some more wood. That's good. So actually what we need is a few a few levers. Ah, screw it. I'll just make, I'll make a bunch. Uh, a few levers because I want to have an area where I have this under control. Um, we might actually set it up like this. Come on. Um, basically what we're going to have is we're going to have a control to start and stop the centrifuge and uh, moving items into it. We're going to have a control for starting and stopping squeezing our honey drops into propolis and liquid honey. Uh, excuse me. And then we're going to have a lever for the wax compactor and we're going to have a lever for dealing with this honey. So actually that's what? One, two, three. 
three, four. So I need four levers, and I'd like to have room over here if I can. One, two... Hmm. No, that's totally not going to work, is it? Not at all. Not even close. Not even close. So I actually need to think about how I'm going to set that up. Hmm. Maybe I'll do something, something over here instead. That kind of makes sense. Or even, or even, maybe into this wall. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll do it there. Maybe we'll put it over here. We'll put the levers like... Uh, if I can, anyways, it depends on where the stairs are here. I just want to figure out where those stairs are. Because um, I want to make sure that I have some room. Okay, this this will this will work. Okay, so we can have we can start it here. One, two, three, four. Perfect, perfect. So that's going to be the controls for everything. Uh, I think what I'm going to end up having is the wax compactor area. I'd like to have this open again. Uh, is going to be set up kind of in this area, and then this machinery is going to be behind everything, and maybe we'll set up the bees over here or something. Uh, I'm not really sure yet, but that's that's for a little bit later. All right, so we're going to get this all ready. Uh, I'm going to grab some pipes and such, and we're going to remove this and everything and uh, get it going. So I'll be right back. All right, all right. I think you're going to like what I did with the place. Hmm, shaping up to look pretty cool pretty cool by the way this floor is most likely going to be turned into wood maybe with some sort of simple pattern and i'm going to continue this for this whole floor now that i have tons of wood uh we might even be incorporating some of the uh, forestry tree wood in here who knows but um this is the idea i'm going to have the centrifuge here uh, as you can see the item frames clearly indicating what's what i want to leave these areas blank and clear and free and actually what I might do is put uh, facades here and here just as well. Uh, but what basically we're going to have to do is we're going to put items in from either the top or probably the bottom because it's coming from the comb. So items through the bottom, out the top. So let's actually do that now. I have this little uh, back area right here. Uh, this chest is, by the way, what we're getting from the uh, bee breeder. So we'll hook that up as well. Um, there's going to be a pipe coming down, eh, maybe like here or something like that, to go into this chest, which is honeycombs. Um, and then we'll have it pumped out automatically based on the status of one of these switches. And, uh, but for now, let's just, let's lay the pipe for doing that. So first of all, what we need is a wooden pipe that's going to be coming out, um... Uh, actually, it makes sense to do it this way, and then the return maybe we'll have coming down. That makes sense. Uh, so we're going to put a... Ins okay, so we're going to put... Um, I guess we'll do it with golden pipes right here. And then uh, maybe stone. Maybe stone here. Yeah, and then we'll do uh, underneath. But uh, until that time, we'll put an insertion pipe right here here because we want to try to get it into the centrifuge if we can just like we have it up top um, and then the return pipe is down here oops uh, I think we'll just yeah hey what is the deal there you go that's weird thought I did that before okay anyway uh, all right let's uh, yeah I'll just do stone from here on out cool okay there's the one uh, there's the one loop. We need to actually put an alt R kick gate there, but I don't have them right now. We're going to set up all the redstone later. Uh, for exiting, we want to put a wooden pipe. I don't know why this isn't working. Uh, going up. And let's see. Oh, yeah, we'll do it that way. Uh, and then this is actually going to go... Okay, here's where... Okay, some of this stuff's going to be wax, and it's going to go to the wax. Some is going to be... Hollis, potentially, because uh, depending on what uh, type of comb you, you process. Some is going to be, this is honey drops, and this is, up top, is going to be items. Oh, yeah, we didn't include that. Right, up top's going to be items. All right, so let me, I need to grab a few things, but actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to set up, uh, we can set it up right now. We can set it up so that, here we go. We just put the diamond pipe here. I think that's probably the easiest. Uh, that way it doesn't actually have to go anywhere. Weird. We'll put the stone pipes... Uh, well, we'll put gold pipes, I think, I guess. That makes the most sense. Put a gold pipe there. Um, stone there. And we'll put insertion. 
and stone. That, oh, 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 no, we can't. We can't do that one. Um, man, I wanted to do this really nicely. That's okay, though. We'll kind of have to go out a little bit, I think, with this. That's that's all right. Eh, eh kind of screws up my, my my whole idea here, but that's that's okay. Yeah, we'll go out with this instead. We'll go this way, that way, that way. This way, well, yeah, I guess we'll have to do it that way. Gosh, the more I think about this, the more it makes sense to do this to reverse this sucker. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because then, and you'll see what I can do in a minute. Let's take this. Let's do it again. I know, I know, I'm just crazy weird. Um, but I want to set it up so that it makes the most sense to me. I'm going to put the wooden pipe here. Then we're going to have the return going this way, and then what we can do is we can make this work. We can make this work perfectly well. Uh, we don't need to do all this weirdness. We can do this, insertion pipe, and cobblestone. Oh, cobblestone doesn't connect, by the way, guys, to insertion pipes, in case you didn't know that. I forgot about that aspect. Cobblestone, however, does connect to gold, so we'll do it that way, and then let's return anyway, so it doesn't matter, and voila. Done. Whew, that took a while. Uh, anyways, and then um, this is going to be items and propolis. So items, I guess they do come from the centrifuge occasionally, uh, but not that often. So what we're actually going to, what I'm going to do is just go... I guess, I guess we're gonna go. Yeah, you know what? We have we have plenty of diamond pipes. That's fine. Let's just do propolis this way. There you go. Nice and easy. Nothing too unusual. And just in case, I don't know what we're gonna put there there for the white. Oh, and as you see, the squeezer's back here. So we're gonna actually put output things over here by uh, for the squeezer. Um, let me see, is that uh, one block in the corner? Yeah, that'll work, okay. Ooh, it's nighttime already, nice. Uh, but this is where the honey will be, and there you go. So that's kind of cool. Whoa, crazy. Uh, let me grab a few things, though, so we can uh, pretty things up here and uh, get it a little bit more established, and then I'll be right back. All right, see you in a second. Okay. Back up top here. Um, hmm. Now we gotta do this kind of carefully because there's items being generated while I'm doing this, but that's okay. We might end up losing a few honeycombs. I'm okay with that in the end. All right. So here's the line from the bees. We're gonna have to run this down. And actually, what I'd like to do is make it a little bit pretty, a little bit cool. I'd like to have an effect where either we. Hmm. I think it'll be weird to have it go in here. But I would like to have it kind of go across this area. So maybe it'll come down on that way. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're actually one block in. So let's kind of keep digging here. And uh, I'll just continue it and then go down. I just want to figure out where I need to do that. Uh, you'll see. Um, okay, I think I want it to go over because i got to be careful here. Now I have to make sure I plan for having a way of getting items out of these two chests in the future. And yeah, that should be doable because we can use facades if we need to. Um, so we'll put items out this way. That's okay. Uh, in which case, that means that I can have uh, maybe the items come down like around here. Like maybe around here, which means... I'll do this. And the easiest way I could probably do this is to do just that. All right, perfect. And then um, we'll do it this way. All right, so for now, let me just put in an iron pipe. And the reason is because I don't want items to come here until I'm ready for them. So let's just do this. This will make sure they go over there just in case uh, while we're while we're doing stuff here. Stone um, pipe right there, and then while I'm doing that, let's go ahead and maybe boost it again. 
Maybe boosted uh, these items again twice. Sure, why not? And just go right over here. All right, cool. Do 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 do. Here we go. Here we go. Do 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 do. All right, and then um, we need to have some sort of sorting because here uh, we're gonna have some of the items actually go over here to the item. Uh, to the item chest, which is the top one. So this will need to be an iron pipe eventually. And I'll have to set it up to go all into the chest so that I can have stone pipes coming out to it later on. Sounds good. Okay. And then um, I guess that means we'll need a diamond pipe here. Yeah, I guess that means we'll, we'll need one. Uh, I will need one right, like, how about, oh, I don't know. Hmm. I actually think maybe we should go over a little bit, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I think I want to come down here because I need to maybe intersect with this line right here. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. Uh, we'll go over one more, and up. Okay, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time on the pipe area, because uh, that can be kind of annoying. Kind of boring, nothing too intense uh, there. And this will be a diamond pipe, but uh, we'll see what we have to do in the future. So black is going to be honeycombs of all sorts. Yellow is going to be any items. Essentially, black is going to be honeycombs of all sorts. Yellow is going to be other. Um, I don't think any other bees makes things that I want to necessarily sort. But this is, gonna, this is our sorting system. Kind of complicated. We haven't set up any of the diamond pipes, but I'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll be right back. And then I'll, uh, I'll grab some more stuff, and we're going to continue. Okay, see you in a second. Well, I am pretty sure I got what I need. Uh, just to start things off, let's start to hook up this um, this power anyways. So I dug out behind here. We should be one, two, three, four of these switches. Uh, I think the first one's going to be for controlling the whole thing, the, the honeycomb. Um, the second one will be for uh, squeezer. And the third will be for... You know, bees and wax. You know, these these last two we're not going to worry about this episode. Uh, but the, this episode we will worry about the first two. And oh, 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 we do need some gold, uh, one gold gate and one uh, iron gate. So let me grab one of those. I got the alt archic versions, but not the uh, the normal ones. So there's a gold gate, and actually there's a gold ore gate. We'll just use that instead. And an iron ore gate that works just fine. Okay, uh, excuse me, and um, we're just going to use structure pipe and run it essentially underground. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, so we're going to do, you know, this is better if I can, I can actually have some room here. That's not bad. All right, so we're going to have iron gate go here and gold go here. In which case, the pipe wire going that way, and blue pipe wire. Oh, we didn't need to go there. That's 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 fine though. It's no big deal. A little bit of a waste, but no big deal. Um, okay, and this is just going to go down and under, and I'm going to connect it to here. And I won't show me doing that because that's not necessary. So we're going to have. Okay, what what do we have for this one? It's going to be the gold version. So that's this guy. He's going to be the blue wire, and when this gets a, I'll set up the signal now, when there's a blue pipe signal, and, wait, wait, and items in inventory do the energy pulsar. That's what's going to happen. Uh, and then, let's see. This is going to be a run-of-the-mill alt archic gate, because if there is items in the inventory, energy pulse. Um, oh, back here, this is for the squeezer, um, liquid. 
So if there is liquid in the tank, energy pulse, and the tank will be this tank. And that'll move it into here. Um, let's see. And the power to decide whether we actually are going to take... Ooh, is that propolis? <gasps> uh, we're going to switch these around. Yeah, we're going to switch those around. Um, it's going to be here. And then it's going to be red, and it's going to be red pipe signal, and items in inventory, energy pulsar. Okay. And right now I am going to switch these two around. So I got to actually switch out this honey drop and this propolis. And I have this going uh, propolis and honey drop. Honey, uh, let's see, propolis is going to have to be in this middle chest, so that's blue. And honey drop is going to be going to the black. That's what we're going to do. Oops. That'll be a honey drop. And no. What am I doing? That'll be a propolis. Okay, I think that's all set. Yeah, that'll work. And then white is anything else, which is going to be all items. So yeah, that works out pretty well. Over here, you see that wax goes to the green from the centrifuge. Everything else goes this way. And that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, here I just have a bunch of the combs going to the black. Everything's coming in this way. Uh, otherwise, every items and whatnot go to the yellow. And uh, this is also connected with our breeders as well. So I connected everything together. We can take all of these and put them in that. And then finally, before I do anything else, well, first of all, let me let me close up this. Um, oh, I don't have any of the. Um, that's okay. But I'll, I'll I'll put the sandstone back here. Um, I actually need to redo this then, if this is going to be the case. Do, 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 do. Hey, what happened to that? Ah, there you go. Perfect. So this is going to be honey drop now. There we go. And propolis is going to be in the middle. That's fine. That works out perfect. Okay, uh, let me pretty up things and run those pipe wires from here to here. Like I said, blue's going to be run from this, and red's going to be run from this. All right, cool. Okay, see you in a second. Uh, we're ready? Yeah, yeah, we're ready. Uh, I ran the wires, and we're, we're ready. I don't remember which was which. Crap. I think this wire right here, or that switch right here, is for the, uh, the centrifuge to run. All right, I got some facades going on, but, uh, all right, so we got a bunch of these. We'll know pretty quickly if it's the right one. I mean, this is pretty simple stuff. I think it is. Yeah, it looks like it is. Totally, totally the right one. Oh my god, totally the right one. Totally. Uh, power, power, power is important. Crap, I need a, um, I need a wrench. Oh, I need a wrench. I need to have a wrench. Wrench it up, wrench it up. Where's my wrench? Where's my wrench? Where's my... There it is. That's the place for it. That makes sense, doesn't it? Wrench it up, because I think I know what is the issue. Pretty sure I did not do anything here. Ta-da! Boom. Okay, everything's fixed. Everything's fixed. Fixed, fixed, fixed. E wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do 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 do. Enabled signal required high. Wait, do I need to do that? Do I need to do that? I think I think that's it. Yeah, totally. Okay, yeah. Oops, oops. I totally didn't do that right. Cool. Hey, it's working great. Um, yep, it's working great. As we know, of course it is. This isn't really that difficult. This stuff. All right, wax going one way and honey going the other way, nice and slow. Uh, it doesn't need to go fast, it's fine. Um, I don't know if this is an issue but with those insertion pipes to just put items in this portion of a chest. I think that might be an issue, but who knows. Uh, yeah, it's going to the right place, no problem. Uh, by the way, I set these up. I don't remember if I actually let you know that, but I set up all the diamond pipes correctly now. So they're all going appropriately. We've got all the 
honeycombs going down, so they go in, back into here, and this is coming from essentially all our hives, are ones that are used for bee breeding, as well as the ones used for, used, used for production upstairs. Now, uh, with the short time we have left, well, actually, first of all, since I know these are going just fine, let me put on some facades so we can have it nice looking. Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. Yeah, that looks cool. Um, with the little bit of light we have left and a little bit of time we have left, it's uh, nearly about 30 minutes in, I think. So not a little, not a crazy amount of time left. Uh, you notice how I'm actually getting a decent amount of cultivated, which is pretty cool. Um, and like I said, I think I mentioned this before, but the purebred bee breeze, I now put in the fact that we can get cultivated because in our system we're not really controlling anything, so what we do is we end up getting actually a fair amount of like mixed cultivated drones, etc. And that's, and that's fine. And we're going to have a system for sorting these, to put in the proper drones, to have them go preferentially over others. Fine. That's fine. But it's not what I want, and it's, I don't think it's the way we can get the most cultivated, cultivated bees, which was our goal in the end. Uh, at first I built this just to do common, and then I was going to kind of do this same type of deal to get cultivated purebreds. But there's a much better way of doing that, and we're not going to do it this episode, but maybe next episode, we'll see. Um, there's, there's definitely a way to do that. Basically, you can turn these meadows and forest princesses into cultivated by doing... Uh, here, I'll just demonstrate. By basically doing this. And I'll kind of demonstrate by throwing these bees out on the floor, and maybe this will make sense. Uh, so you... You made a princess with a cultivated, and what do you get? Well, the cultivated, a uh, purebred princess, and a purebred, uh, a purebred, I should say, meadows, plus a purebred cultivated, will only give you 100% of your offspring in the first generation will be a mix. They'll be purebred, they'll be hybrid uh, cultivated meadows, or meadows cultivated. All right, so that's, that's fine. But what you do is you take the princess from that, which will be a meadows cultivated princess, or a cultivated meadows princess, and you mate her with another purebred cultivated. So let's try to find this. So you mate her with cultivated cultivated. And so one gene will come from the princess, which will either be meadows or cultivated, and one gene comes from the drone, which is either cultivated or cultivated. So what that means is that half of your offspring will be cultivated cultivated, half will be cultivated meadows. So that's actually a really good way of getting purebred cultivated. Nice. That is, uh, if you continually mate your um, princesses with cultivated drones, purebreds. Oh, I just put them in my apiarist backpack. Um, luckily, I will say, luckily I actually do have such a stream of awesomeness. Um, so let's go up here, the little bit we have left in the episode, and go ahead and see. So as you notice, we have a bunch of purebred cultivated queens and their drones. So we have actually a way of getting a lot of cultivated drones. Okay, not this one. Uh, but as you see, a lot of cultivated drones. These actually aren't purebreds, but that's beside the point. But we can use them. They're cultivated cultivates. Um, so that's kind of what I plan to do. I plan to essentially set up a system where I just use these cultivated drones that are produced by essentially these apiaries. They produce honeycombs, but they also produce purebred cultivateds. All right, so um, that's actually going to be all the time we have for today, guys. Um, so in this beautiful Minecraft night, I'm going to say good night to y'all and thank you for watching this episode. See you guys in the next episode where we will do some most likely more stuff with bees. Maybe we'll do something else in terms of some base improvements overall, though. All right, guys. Uh, see you in the next episode. Uh, lovely Minecraft music. Let's... Let's turn it up. Ah. Uh. All right, guys. See you in the next episode. Tranquil. <laughs>